an Osram LED lamp rated 5 watts and you think, well, it's not a very big heat sink for 5 watts, maybe it's got active cooling. But no, it doesn't seem to have any active cooling other than this heat sink which feels plasticky, which is quite odd. And another thing about it is that for a 5 watt uh, LED, it's only got a single chip in the middle. So let's um, pop the lid off this. I've had this open already. Um, so the way it's assembled is quite pleasing. The cap physically pops off the front, the lens. Put that down there. So it's a little plastic frame with the lensing system in it. And inside is a circuit board, which I've just dropped out because I had removed it earlier and it did have heat sink compound in the back of it. So the circuit board has this single little chip in the middle. That's not going to handle 5 watts very well, is it? Um, the circuit board is an interesting shape that fits quite snugly into this housing, which is actually aluminium. It feels strangely plasticky on the outside. I'm guessing they just sprayed it with a finish. The circuit board has other components on it. It's got a 1K resistor and what I guessed might be a thermistor maybe, something to provide feedback on temperature. I'm not so sure about that now. Um, laterally, I think it may just be a, a rectifier because it's fed from a connection that comes straight from the transformer. So they may have put the rectifier on here just to help dissipate its heat into the same heat sink. So, yes. The electronics in the back unclip like this. And inside is a circuit board which has the standard power supply circuitry. It's got the little fuse, it's got the bridge rectifier, um, smoothing, um, uh, filtering and more smoothing. Then it goes on to a little chip, which the chip is an LNK606GG. And that's quite an unusual chip. It's used by other manufacturers. And it's notable for the fact that pin 3 um, is just chopped off in the chip. It doesn't exist um, other than just the slight metal tab maybe sticking out. No, I don't even see the metal tab sticking out. Um, and that's probably for uh, isolation purposes. Um, the limiting, I thought initially this was another choke on the output, but I think it's actually a capacitor and heat shrink to smooth the output to the LED. And the transformer itself is unusual. It's got, a, it's got uh, five connections onto the board. I'm not sure all of them are used. I don't know if they're just for reinforcement. It's a double-sided board and I've not really pulled all the components off it. But what's also notable is that for those connections, there's an extra wire, uh, this little black one, that goes straight into the windings of the transformer and seems to be the output to the uh, rectifier on the printed circuit board. So it's an unusual lamp. Um, I don't really trust a heatsink this size to dissipate 5 watts from an LED this size. So um, yeah, it's interesting, but uh, it came from a shop that doesn't really sell top of the range stuff. And it may be that perhaps Osram were just maybe moving some of their earlier concept LED lamps out. Because uh, by far the, the common choice of um, high power LEDs these days tends to be the multi-chip uh, versions. Um, like for instance the classic uh, Philips uh, GU10 lamp, which has quite a lot of chips in this particular one, but in and they're actually mounted in four separate packages with maybe a few chips in each. But uh, other than that, I like the fact it clips together quite snugly. Um, the circuit board is actually held in by the spring tension of the little latches on this, and it's held in alignment uh, by extra pins on this mounting here. So it, it's quite a nice design. I, I did try shaking it forcibly, without any heat sink compound uh, in it, just to hear if there's any movement at all on the circuit board and couldn't hear anything. So I'm guessing it probably does make quite a good thermal contact. But um, there probably is a reason these lamps were being sold off uh, modestly cheaply, about four pounds, I think, which isn't super cheap. But um, for an Osram lamp, that's cheap, very cheap, about half the normal price. So I get the feeling this was perhaps a, 
an early lamp that didn't quite work out as planned.